and in today's video i'll be sharing with you the three false teachings christians should avoid uh, i'm ishmael n and if it, this is your first time watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload new videos so now let's get right on to it okay first teaching that is uh that christians should avoid is uh the teaching about uh, going to hell just because you don't pay your tithe this takes us to the book of malachi chapter 3 if you can look at it uh normally that scripture was talking about robbing god and uh at the end god was seems like he was angry or something and then he ended up encouraging people that if they are to pay their tithings and offerings you're gonna see greater blessings you will open up the windows of heavens where they will receive such great blessings uh, to the point that they wouldn't even have enough room to contain so but then there are some speakers or preachers or christians who say uh if you don't pay your tithe you go to hell so such teaching if when i look at that scripture i don't see it as talking about taking people to hell when i look at it unless of course unless of course i might be wrong because you find that uh maybe they are referring to that because if you can look at it it also says uh you are robbing god unless if some of them they are interpreting it in a manner that since you are robbing god it means you are cheating and if you are cheating a cheater or someone who robs or who steals from god as, uh, as someone who still is supposed to go to hell according even to the scriptures even the new testament unless if they mean it like that hence they concluded that you're gonna go to hell if you don't pay your tithe but uh, yes that it depends on how who's uh, reading the bible and how <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and how are you interpreting that bible so if you take it that far yeah maybe it makes sense but still all in all in overall directly if you are not to try to add anything on the bible or to subtract anything the bible never said you're gonna go to hell hence with such it can be such a big argument someone might say something different and all so such doctrine or um, such teaching i don't prefer that it uh it should be counted as a a, a real teaching or a such a teaching that needs a stamp on it so unless if i'm wrong of course maybe i don't understand it further maybe they are missing uh explaining it according to how i said they when they go deeper but all in all no one is that too sure that really you'll go to hell but yes it's good to pay your tithe just to be in the safe side i would encourage you to do so because i also do so i pay my tithe so that i'm in the safe side so also do the same so now the second false teaching uh, Christian should avoid is uh, a teaching about uh, it's a dating teaching in fact uh, where people will be talking about that if you um, you hold yourself well you don't uh, live a wicked life you keep a holy life you remain pure and whatsoever God is gonna automatically send you your also a person who is like you if you don't drink or if you don't live a wicked life god is gonna give you also someone who's like exactly like you i'm saying such a teaching is false why am i saying so because there are many christians who are getting disappointed some they expect to get someone who's like them who has never uh, lived a wicked life but you find that some they end up with an opposite person someone who just repented and they become devoted to god and uh and also if you can look at how god works he doesn't look at somebody's past you can repent today and he award you or reward you with someone who's nice and gives you a good husband if you are a lady you know you find that you just got born again or if you are a man so like he's gonna give you someone who was also wicked like you before you got born again god can decide to bless you with someone nice a good wife or a, a good husband so and some Christians they get disappointed when you find that there's those nice uh, ladies or nice guys they were expecting those nice Christian guys or girls or men or women are not there 
they feel like God failed them or something. They didn't keep his promise. So such a teaching is not correct. God will just give you someone uh, whom you feel like they are right for you. So when you be yes, you can just pray about it. But God will always locate you with someone whom you know that you can last. Someone whom you will connect in different areas. That's how God operates. But even if you pray for a specific person, he can also intervene and grant you that person. But it's not like it works in a manner that you just pray, you hold yourself. Because no one at the end of the day is holy enough to earn uh, the grace of God to receive what is good. We are all sinners. That's what the Bible always says. So such a teaching is false. Because even if you are holding yourself, you are saved through the grace of Christ. You are sinning through your mind and that those sins through your mind are also good enough to put you to hell so you can never be good enough for god to feel like he owes you something you know so such a teaching is false they never explained it properly so now the final uh, false teaching is teaching about grace grace is there indeed but some people they misunderstand it in a manner that they feel like for god to have grace upon you you need to, I mean, since we have the grace of God through Christ, we no longer have to pray, we no longer have to fast, you just have to live anyhow. When situations come, you don't rebuke, you don't cast out devils, you don't rebuke the devil. Like, ah, Jesus did it. You just look at your situation, laugh. No, 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 no. And that is not true. The grace of God is there and it, it releases the Holy Spirit so that it comes inside us to help us to overcome to do things which you were unable to do the power that we possess when you speak the name of jesus is influenced by the power of the holy spirit or the the holy spirit himself so that is the grace of god without the the grace who wouldn't be have the holy spirit which would help us who would who, who would have, wouldn't have the holy spirit who would help us to resist sin so it's the one who makes you feel like not sinning have the power to say no, have the power to speak and things happen, the power to act, the power to obey the voice of God, is that grace. But we remove that grace, sins will come, temptation will come and will fall with ease. So this is false. When they teach you that there ah, are no things, you're just supposed to sleep and relax, you are bound to go to hell. Even if you do anything, you have already repented, you are born again, you won't go to hell. No, those teachings are false. Because the moment you disobey, you live a life which will take you to hell. Because you no longer listen to the Holy Spirit when He instructs you. So that's what I had for you today. You like today's video? Give it a thumbs up. Share with your loved ones. And uh, also for more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. I'll be putting more videos. Anything to add, suggest, video that you suggested I do. Comment on the section below and as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you next time.